Hello, friends. I wanted to open the door for you if you're interested in a life of faith, if you're interested in what it means to follow Jesus, to be a Christian, to make a profession of faith. Um, my name is Steve McGee. I'm the pastor of Exeter Presbyterian Church in Exeter, New Hampshire. And I want to just first invite you on what I believe to be the greatest adventure that you could ever have in your life. And this adventure is one that you're not going to have to face alone. The Bible in the Old Testament tells us in, in Proverbs 18.24 that there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. A friend who sticks closer than, uh, uh, than a brother. And this friend is the Messiah, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And he cares about you. And he calls people to, to faith. Oftentimes this comes through an experience in their lives that may be one of the most challenging things they ever face. Maybe the loss of a loved one or a very exciting moment like the gift of a child or the beginning of a marriage. So whether it's something that we perceive to be good or bad, it can be a moment when all of a sudden we find we're thinking more about God than we had in the past. And we, we'd we like to have a life with him and like to know what it means to have a life of faith. So the thing I want you to think about in this first video is that this adventure is taking people from death to life, all right? That we're going from a, a state of spiritual death and then into a state of resurrection life, spiritual life. And at the center of this this great movement from death to life, life is the Son of God, Jesus. Just as you may know from John 3, 16, that God loved the world in this way, he so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus, that we might not perish, that whoever would believe in him uh, would have eternal life. If we believe in him, if we would receive him, we would have e eternal life. So Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus the Messiah, is at the very center of this movement from death to life. Now, this death that we're talking about, this spiritual death, this is real. You might think, well, I'm very much alive right now. And, and yet the Bible tells us in Ephesians 2, it says, you were dead in your, in your trespasses and sins in which you once walked. Yeah, that's, that's the way we were. But God, who's rich in mercy, made us alive. So Christ is at the center of this journey from death to life. And we were really dead. We didn't just need a little bit of help. We were dead in our trespasses and sins. Now, this God comes into our lives as we yield ourselves to him. And so 1 John 4.16 tells us, I'm sure you've heard this, that God is love. So the author of love and the best gift of love comes into our lives, taking us from death to life. And when love comes into you, love will be expressed through you to others. So this is just the beginning taste of this and love to be able to help you on that journey from death to life. Next time, we're going to take a look at what it means to begin that journey. How do you begin it? We'll look at some Bible verses that tell us that. Father, thank you for this moment. We pray that you would Show us the truth of our need for you and help us to see Jesus and receive him.
We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings.